E aí galera, eu sou o Nóbrega, beleza? Chegando com mais uma gameplay aqui no canal. Sejam todos bem-vindos. A gente tá trazendo bastante gameplay não comentada, então eu gostaria que vocês deixassem aí se vocês preferem gameplay comentada ou não comentada, que a gente vai dar preferência para aquilo que vocês escolherem, beleza? Então vamos fazer o seguinte, conhece o jogo, não conhece o jogo, deixa aí nos comentários aquilo que vocês estão achando e se inscrevam no canal, fortalece demais ativar o sininho para chegar as notificações para vocês aí. Então vamos fazer o seguinte, vamos lá, gameplay não comentada, beleza? Tamo junto, curtam aí, fui, até mais! Previously on Chicken Police, Into the Hive. Let's just stick with the classics. It was a dark and stormy night. Well, it wasn't that stormy, but it was clucking dark for sure. I woke up from a horrible dream among boxes that had my whole life in them. I was ready for the big journey around the wilderness. But a mysterious woman in a hood came to ruin everything. Sound familiar? And she came straight from the hive, fellas, with a case that looked like straight suicide. Did I take it? Clock, yes, because that's me, the perfect schmuck. Now, all I had to do was get Marty, my partner, to back me up. But he strangely refused to pick up the phone. I wonder what could have happened to him. What the fluffy, feathery, scaly clucking hell's going on here? Hey, buddy, you all right? Hey, buddy. Ah, oh, goddamn featherhead. Turn me apart, Laura. Oh, no chance. I've got to get him out of this state. Next time, but not now. Let's see here. Uh, how about no? Ah, uh, huh? Yeah, okay. Anything else?
shitty little neighbors. Neighbors who don't deserve this shit. Tidy little It's impossible to dislodge him. I have to distract him somehow. not going to talk to me until I get him out of this state. It's a tidy little neighborhood and a tiny... not going to talk to me until I get him out of this state. It's impossible to dislodge him. I have to distract him somehow. Marty's beloved Vector Ball. Pretty cold of Laura to chop that out, but it might just be useful. Listening to us, don't you care? <laughs> oh! 
Hey! Finally. Good evening, partner. What the... What the hell, man? Hey, Marty. Everything uh, okay, buddy? What? <laughs> of course it's you. Who else would it be? Are you, uh, by any chance, a little tipsy, Marty? You... You... You just... You don't look at me about drinking here, okay? I'm just saying. Well, don't. Because... Because... Listen, all this stuff here... Yeah, Laura didn't... Uh, she didn't throw you out, did she? What? Me? Ha! Ah. I can't be thrown out. I'm Marty Clucking McChicken. Do you hear me, honey? I can't be thrown out. Take it easy, Marty. Actually, I threw her out. Yeah? Yeah, sure. Let's uh, let's get your stuff and get out of here, okay? Okay, boss bird. But promise us we're gonna do something stupid. Huh? That I'm sure. Of. Wait a minute. Just one tiny minute. Marty, Marty, no. Laura! Come on. Laura! <laughs> oh, for clock's sake. Look, I got something in the car that'll help you. Contains a killer cocktail handed down to me by good old Dr. B. Possible to dislodge him. I have to distract him somehow. He's not gonna talk to me until I get him out of this state. What the? God, you wanna kill me? Take a few deep breaths, and everything will be fine. <laughs> Shall we go? Yeah, I guess. Oh, and if you puke in my car, I'll pluck you and cook you alive. Yeah, yeah, let's just get out of here. That's my boy. I was just about to call the whole thing off, but after a nap in the passenger seat, 
He woke up, innocent as a day old chick. Fists, bullets, or booze, this damn cock dodged them all. Laura hit the only tender spot he has. We were standing outside the station, waiting for him to compose himself before going in. Ah, uh, listen, man. Don't get started, Marty, okay? Just take a deep breath, and let's get going. Yeah, right. You just forgot to tell me what we're doing here. Well, I didn't want to wake you. You were snoring so sweetly in the car. Ugh, sorry. <laughs> right now, we need paperwork to enter the high. Yeah, sure. Wait, what? You heard it right. We got some business in Roachtown. Anyway, it'll give Laura a chance to cool off. Oh, good luck in hell. Can we maybe not talk about that? Whatever suits you. Listen, do you have a, an aspirin? My brain is trying to burst out of my skull. Nope. But if Monica's here, I'm sure she'll help you. Ah, good. She's always there when you need her, huh? I just hope the old boat chew Blood boil? Uh, you know the dog that barks doesn't bite. Yeah, right. Just sends you on unpaid leave. Boil to be so subtle. But a tank? Really? Come on. Well, he's always like big things. Eh, lucky for us. You're not wrong there. His poster is totally loose. But maybe that's why. of the chicken police in the flesh. The hairs that lay the golden eggs, huh? Moses, Plato, Eve, gentlemen. Now get lost. Marty's having a rough night. Everything all right, Marty, my boy? <laughs> you look like you've been swimming in the times. Or are you just juiced up? <laughs> Aw, are you mewling at me, tiny tiger? I'm sorry, it's hard to hear you from up here. Tiny what? What did you say? Please, don't do this, Plato. We're so much better than that. Ah, oh, for Cluck's sake. Yeah, he started it. Did not. That's enough. Please. Sadly, I have to agree with Moses. Ugh, okay. <laughs> Even worse. 
thank you, dear partner. I can always count on you for support. And yet you haven't kissed me in weeks. Not even a peck on the cheek. It's been dead for years. Besides, Marty was the only one who drank that garbage. The building is just like the people who work in it. A complete wreck. Sorry to bother you guys, but have you seen Monica? Uh -huh. And can you tell us where we can find her? Oh, of course. You just have to ask. She went down to the shooting range. The shooting range? Monica? Talking about the same person? To be honest, I was surprised too. Strange. What? Yeah, thanks anyway, guys. Have a nice standing around and doing nothing. from the Moron Academy. Ha, 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 ha. Your sense of humor is getting old and rickety, just like you. Because I'm spending more and more time with you, buddy. Weird to see the front desk without Monica. I don't know if I've seen it empty since she's been working here. We should look into this mystery. Yep, we shouldn't, but we will. Yep. Monica Rosen, a tiny, fragile body, housing a rock-hard woman with perfectly polished nails, a sharp beak, and an even sharper mind. She's a real machine, a workaholic, and a mother goose who always does what she has to do. And for us, she sometimes does a little bit extra. She's like an anchor holding a tiny boat in place on a boat. Oh, my Goodness. No, you're not. Pull yourself together. What could have happened to her? She's never been down here before. In fact, she's never left the front desk. And the gun? Yeah, but it's none of our business. We're detectives, Sonny. Everything's our business. You know, it's quite a catchphrase. Yeah. I should have thought of that before. Like a whole career before. Yep. Well, that ship has sailed. It sure has.
a sophisticated sense of humor. I think it's pretty apt. Ha ha ha. Wait a minute. It wasn't you, was it? What? Me? <laughs> Don't make fun of yourself, Marty. It's uh, so childish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm watching you, old bird. Yeah. Leave me alone. I'm watching you. down to chill out a little <laughs> and it's already better to chill out a little exactly yeah chill out you know well if anyone i can understand i spent half my life down here but i've never seen you here mon especially with a huge clock and gun in your hand. oh that <laughs> oh it's nothing really <laughs> I've, I've just been under a lot of pressure lately, and I thought I'd give it a try. It felt pretty good, honestly. Amen, sister. By the way, you're looking a little ragged, Marty. Did something happen? <laughs> to me? Oh, no, 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 nothing. Just, uh, he's got a clucking hangover, Mom. Hangover? I thought you never drank. Well, first time at the range with you... I'm at the bottom of the bottle for me. Looks like it's a night of firsts, huh? Fair enough. I'm not pushing. Thanks, Mon. Anything I can do for you guys? I assume you're not here to just chill out, right? Sharp as always, Mon. We were looking for you. Well, I'm here. So shoot.
place is starting to look like an asylum. Why? Just be. There's nothing there for us now. While we're on the subject, why are you here this time of night? That's uh, classified. Oh, classified. Correct. Inspector Bloodboyle has asked us not to tell anyone anything. Wow. Must be important if you got the third and fourth best detectives in town on the case. What did you say? Just the truth, cutie kitten. Hold me down, Moses. Or I swear. Damn it, Marty. Stop pulling his tail. Look at him. His head's gonna explode. But he's so cute when he's angry. I mean, look at his fur standing on end. Calm down, Plato. We've got work to do. We have real business to do. Yeah, you're right, Moses. They're not worth it. No, we're not. So long, boys. Ah, meow. So, this uh, secret assignment you got from Blood Boy, what about it? Come on, we're all friends here, right? There is no way. Come on, fellas. For old times' sake. Ah, what old times? Come on over. Say something. All right, I give up. Who cares? It's something petty anyway. Petty? Bah, you call it petty to a cover? Plato. Mind your mouth. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. I I'm sorry, Moses. You're not getting nothing out of us. Birds. I almost had it. Bad old marrowbone. Chief Bloodboyle is not in tonight. Lucky for you, I guess. What makes you say that? Come on, Santino. I can tell you're up to no good. Maybe a little private investigation? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Come on. Uh, I see. Well, good evening, detectives. Yeah, you too. What do you want? Well, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Ah, the great Moses and Plato. What a pair of clowns. Just what we need. Never mind them, Marty. Ever since they solved that case on the Clawville Express, they think the world revolves around them. But they're still in second place. Can't be easy. Next time, maybe. Employee of the month? Yeah. As crappy as it looks, why do I have the feeling? Hey, Mom, 
Listen to this. Sonny is going on a trip around the globe. Oh, really? That's nice. Uh, he never told you? But I thought you two were pretty close. Yeah, me too. But whatever. He's not gonna go anyway. Hey, wait, what, what? Yeah, that's what I told him. He's just Beacon, but he's staying anyway. He and Clawville are in a long and bad marriage. Exactly. Hey. I'm standing right here, okay? Yeah, okay. Oh, hello, Sonny. How are you? So what's up? What are you doing here at this hour? We could use your help, sweetheart. I'm at your service, boys. Ask away. So, we need the papers to enter Roachdown, boy. Hurry heavens, Boss Bird. I knew this day would come, but so soon? What day would come? The day you finally get yourself killed. Why do you have to drag poor Marty into it? He's still so... well... He's not so young anymore, but he's still full of hope. Thanks, I guess. Sweetheart, we just have a case there, that's all. We can't do it from the outside. Why don't you ask that bug friend of yours, Frank? He's helped you out more than once, hasn't he? Uh, I think part of this is about him. He might have gotten himself in trouble again. And you think you're the ones the poor residents of the Hive need? This is important, Mon. I mean... This time, it really is. On. Wild heavens. Okay. You owe me one. Again. You're an angel. Oh, yeah. I am. I'll add it to the list. How does it work? I'll give you the permit at the front desk. But you'll need another detective to sign it as a witness, because you can't count on the boss's support. No problem. I got Marty. No. You're partners, so I need someone from the station who's not Marty, but equal in rank to you. Oh, okay. Maybe Boss Garelli, the shaggy bone chewer. He had a tough case in the Calavera Hills. Some serious cat fight. You know he's got a cat allergy, so he's on forced rest. Well then, uh, there is no one left but Moses and Plato. You're like two eggs, boys, you know that? But, yeah, you're right. They're the only ones you can count on right now. Ah, uh, chicken shit. Thanks anyway, sweetheart. Yeah, no worries. business in the hive recently. There was a little incident, yes, but nothing too serious. Unfortunately. We went to ease some of the tension there, but it didn't work out that way. What do you mean? Ah, we had the one and only Mick in custody, but he was released a day later for lack of evidence. Mick? As in mongrel Mick? Mick Castle, the head of the Cluck and Golden Fang clan. Since you've let yourself out of the bag, Plato, my dear, Mick has been camping out in the hive lately because he thinks we couldn't touch him there. Right about that. Well, unfortunately, the sly ape is, at the moment. The hive is still off limits, and since we don't have any incriminating evidence against him, he's untouchable. And paperwork. If you have it, you can get into the hive, right? Wait. Why are you guys so interested in the hive? Are you going to... Innocent curiosity, Moses. Nothing more. Well, well. Interesting. We'd better be going. Don't take any wooden nickels, boys. Welcome.
game on. What are sleuths number three and four doing here? You mean Moses and Plato? Don't be so rude about them, Sonny. They're professionals, and they're pretty decent guys, too. Okay. So what's the deal? What's this super-secret assignment from Blood Bowl? Are we jealous? Yeah, don't make me laugh. I am, a little. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's something really secret. I mean, it's not an official investigation. Wait, I thought shit like that was our thing. It is. I really don't know what it's about, but if you want my advice, forget about it. I'm afraid that's impossible, Mon. You're only making it more tempting for us. At least try to be discreet, okay? We've got enough problems without having to deal with your shenanigans. Oh, we'll be quiet and discreet, as always. Like the wind. Whoosh. Yeah, more like a hurricane. May the big wild ones protect us. Everything all right with you, sweetheart? It's uh, unusual to see you here. Sonny, guys, it's okay. Really, I'm fine. I'm just blowing off some steam. With a bunch of bullets? As you say, Marty. Well, uh, okay, Mon. that from you before, Santino. Make a note, because it won't happen again. What can we do for you, chickens? Oh, it's, um, just a little favor. Tough times, eh? No, uh, not yet. We didn't have the uh, balls. I was gonna say time. Sure. We had neither time nor balls, Mom. I see you're tired. Are you sure you're gonna throw yourselves into the night in that state? What? 
We're at the top, honey. From there, you can fall the hardest. Surprising turn of events. You're telling us. I'm not gonna mince words. We need your signatures for a permit. Ah, so you are going to the hive. I thought so. You thought so. Listen, a friend of ours is in trouble. What kind of trouble? A life-threatening kind. That could be said of almost anyone in the hive. Moses, please. We're both on the same team, right? Fine. But you. Always one. We're used to it. Those ain't just words, chicks. Once we help you, you help us. No questions asked. As Plato says. So, we got a deal. Ah, chat shit. Okay, Moses. But I'm not gonna shine your shoes. We'll see. Let me know when you have the paperwork. We will. That was easy. Too easy. We'll regret this, believe me. Ah. They're gonna ask for something humiliating, right? Well, those two are competitive. They're not unprofessional. But they could put us in danger. Beyond what we already face? Exactly. Well, what's new? Our lives are a constant, needless, risk-taking roller coaster for which we get nothing but a series of scars and nightmares. Right. and Plato. What a pair of clowns. Just what we need. Never mind them, Marty. Ever since they solved that case on the Clawville Express, they think the world revolves around them. But they're still in second place. Can't be easy. <laughs> Moses and Plato to sign it and you're done. We can jive with this anywhere in the hive. Hmm? Jive with the hive. It's just a piece of paper, Marty. It'll be useful once you set the hive on fire and you need proof you had permission to be there in the first place. Nice. But the hive has its own life, its own rules. Its residents won't be impressed that you have a piece of paper issued by the Clawville PD. In fact, I wouldn't wave it in public if I were you. Understandable. Thanks again, sweetheart. You saved us, as always. Come on. My job. Well, no, but I'm happy to do it for you. You make my heart melt. Let's go before we have to call an ambulance. Take care of each other, boys. One scribble from you is enough, Moses, but you can sign it too, Plato. Eh, I'll pass. Let's see. Done. It was a pleasure. See ya, boys. Sonny. Huh? Yeah? We'll be keeping an eye on you. And don't forget, you're in our den. Yeah, okay. Anything else? Nothing. Right now. Oh, bye, fellas. Okay, so what exactly are we talking about? I get that we're snooping around the hive, but what about Frank? And where does Mick come into it? Just relax. We'll go up to my place and I'll show you. That's what she said. Ah, stop clucking around. This is big. You're about to see how big. That's what she said. Ah, 
moron. Okay, but all joking aside, I'm getting tired of being the last to know what case we're working on. Oh, well, someone's gotta be last, right? Don't be a jerk, Sonny. All right. But you know, an hour ago, you weren't in any state for details. I know, but are you gonna keep bringing that up? I hope that was a rhetorical question. Kinda. Okay, speaking of things left unsaid, what's the deal with Laura? She dumped you because you got drunk? And you got drunk because she dumped you? You know what, Sonny? You're totally right. Let's just keep our little secrets to ourselves. Suits me. Sometimes I feel like I have a boil in my brain when Sonny, bursting with macho pride, smothered emotions and dangerous secrets. Because you read too much chicken shit. Yeah. Next time, next time, but not now. Yeah, now for clock. Wait, wait, what? Let's see. Next time, maybe. Now for clock's sake. Yeah, next time, maybe. Next time, but not now.